There are no sequels here. Then what the fuck is Hellraiser 3, Hell on Earth. As in what in the hell on earth am I watching? Now, to be fair, Hellraiser 3 is not that bad. It has some pretty creative kills, lots of gore, some acting, I guess. It's not necessarily bad. It's not necessarily good either, though. And I'm not just talking about the humans, I'm also talking about the Cenobites. They have new Cenobites in this film that basically were killed by an object, and then when they come back as a Cenobite, they're like, have, so they have something on them that represents what they were killed by, or what they loved, I guess. And um, they have some really crappy one-liners. And then he, Pinhead himself, he has emotion. In the first two, he is a soulless being, a vessel that just doesn't give a shit about anything. But back to the new Cenobites. I like to call them CD Junker, Blow Me Vision, and Drill Me Baby One More Time. But they are ridiculous names, but they are ridiculous creations as well. I don't think I even mentioned the score for the Hellraiser films yet. It is awesome. They do dive into Pinhead's backstory, though, for a little bit, explaining that he was a father to the main character actress in this film. And the line I hate the most in this film is when they finally meet in the, like, the human form of Pinhead's like, we're going to hell. And Pinhead's like, ladies first. And I'm like, you son of a bitch. You just had to be an instigator, didn't you? Pinhead doesn't instigate. This film is cheesy fun, which is a problem. Because the first two Hellraiser films, even though they were cheesy for now, not for the 80s, they still try to be serious. This film just goes for the jugular and laughs at you. It's like, jeez. You're not supposed to be cheesy. You're a pinhead movie. You have a guy with pins in his head. How is that freaking cheesy? And you all know me. I love a cheesy good time. But if the film that the series is in is cheesy, when the series itself is not supposed to be cheesy, then what's the point? It's not supposed to be cheesy, so I shouldn't be liking it. But I ended up enjoying this film. Overall, I give Hellraiser 3 Hell on Earth a 2.5 out of five. I am the way. <laughs> Good for you. I am Brian Gatto, host of Horror Show Movie Reviews. Make sure to like my Facebook page in the description below, and to leave comments and subscribe.